So it seems ages since I've been out on my bike and made a little film so I was supposed to have been doing some work today if I'm honest but yesterday the temperature just really really knocked me out uh, and today the temperatures are quite high and I just couldn't be bothered truthful answer thought I just need a bit of a break from it so I thought I'll come out on old clip clop I've got my hammock in the back what else have I got? I've got a stove I've got my coffee making stuff and some stuff to make a bacon sandwich and an egg sandwich so I'm going to go find somewhere in the woods and just chill for an hour and relax <laughs> I thought I'd take you with me I forgot to charge my bike <laughs> so I just brought it out of the house turned it on I thought blooming heck so I'm going to pedal where I can with it off just to try and save me power and see what it's like when I come back I don't want to be pushing today <laughs> so like I said I thought I'd come out and it was a real spur at the moment thing and my morning so far was dealing with the burst water main at front of my house that's come up in the pavement um, that's flooding up the street so I rang waterboard this morning at seven o'clock they're sending somebody out to have a look within 48 hours that looks a bit of a beast of a machine He'll have been thinking that about me when he looked at me. <laughs> this is a beautiful little village down here, Grindle. It's like everything else, when you're a kid you don't appreciate it. I was used to think, don't want to go through Grindle, nothing there. But as you get on in life, you, I think, appreciate these things more. As you go through all the changes in your life, all the different stages. I could live here now. Mind you, I'm saying that weather. <laughs> I think you you say that when you're on the seat for a few minutes, don't you? Ducks are coming over, look. This is what I want. It's red up today. secret ingredient in there just look around in my little baggies let me go pro out put it back in I laugh at one of my friends the other week <laughs> I can't believe I've got to say this this wood there we've both done courting down here <laughs> down there <laughs> I thought oh well <laughs> that's a coincidence a few rides ago I came down here and there was a van fly tipping transit van in one of these fields down here 
just taking a load of rubbish off. I went down into the village, called at one house. They weren't really bothered. Came back, called in at the farm. Um, knocked at the door, nobody there. So I don't know what ever happened. Poor farm, I'll have end up having to clear it all. And this is Boynton Hall. Sorry, this is the village hall. Water pump up, somewhere nice to sit. There's a pair of houses just over here. I don't want to point my camera, but I'll show you when I go past them. And turned them into an old folks home. There were a pair of semis. And I was part of the team what converted them. And lady who had it, Josie Johnston, she had some property in Tenerife. And what she gave me as a wedding present was a week's holiday free of charge in her property over there for me and my first wife Julie and my dad lived in Tenerife and I was talking to him about it and he says the tax is from the airport to where her apartment is will cost you an absolute fortune and you'd have been cheaper booking a proper holiday than paying the taxi fare so never went um, but I thought it was a nice gift I'm sure it was a ride past well then just in there on the left there takes you through to Boynton Hall. It's all flats now. This is up there, look. So they're doing some more riding lessons, we're looking at it. Over there, look, on the back of a horse. That's Pointing all in front, all in there. On in. Some kids down there enjoying a the raft look. Hold yeah, down the wheel look. <laughs> this is normally all the back all full of water. You can see where it goes. All empty at the moment. That structure over there, that's known as, that's kind of, kind of be temple, but it's known locally as pepper pot, because it's shaped like a eight sided building. I'm going to take us in it, 
somebody's knocked a hole in the side and it's a lot bigger than what it used to be you used to be able to just crawl in um, but we'll go in there and have a look and when I showed you Boynton Hall which is down there at the bottom of the hill the bloke who used to own Boynton Hall he built a ditch and the ditch brought you up to the pepper pot and what he used to do, he used to be able to come from Boynton Hall in his horse and cart and he'd go under Wallgate Road I'll show you the bridge later on if I can get under he used to go under Wallgate Road and get up to the pepper pot and all the local peasantry wouldn't be able to see him um, nobody would bother him but we'll have a look at that in a little bit Oh, that was a bang, let's hope that wasn't a puncture. <laughs> I've been good for having no punctures considering a lot of the places I've been. I have a bottle of slime in each tyre. Um, and so far, touch wood, been, I've had no punctures and I've been in some quite gnarly areas with sharp rocks and that lot sometimes. just absolutely beautiful to be out I've got my I've no power assist on maybe my batteries dropped from 75 to 49 percent um, so that's like 25 percent left um, to get here and we're not halfway yet and I've got quite a lot of steep hills to get up going home <laughs> we'll keep going a few miles yet till we're halfway still it is what it is I can hear people saying it'll do him good to lose weight the fat bugger <laughs> When I was a kid we used to come up here and my dad used to know all the species of all the trees. Whether he was correcting what he was saying I don't know but he says he learnt it as a kid. He tried to teach me and my brother but I could never get the hang of it. I'm looking for the turning. <laughs> Just a gap in the hedge. Here it is. Oh, I came up here a couple of weeks ago and somebody's trimmed all the grass. See all this is an extension. That's the original piece. It was originally an octagon and it was built in the 1700s by Stricklands who had Boynton Hall, which is over that hill. And what Stricklands did when I, I said earlier on they had a ditch. So they used to drive that horse and carriages over the field, down, under the road. Last time I was in here, in this extension, <laughs> I frightened the life out of an owl. Man, he was scared me to death as well. It flew out. <laughs> this was originally eight-sided and it was a folly for Strickland. 
and when you go in you can see where the floors have been and the fireplaces you can see there have been windows in here and at the top look you've got arches at the top underneath there's a you can see a second arch which is in filmed so it'd have been interesting to see what was up there see the chimney up there on the fireplaces and there's an underneath there's a cellar I just want to be careful because down at the farm there I can see quite a few vans so I just don't want to appear too intrusive I've ridden my bike around the corner but they'll see me wandering around Been working it over the years, like you can see all the points in, trying to look after it. And there's the underneath. Beautiful building with grand views. See why they built it here. I suppose you want me to take you in. Oh, John's been in luck. <laughs> John and Chelsea. So the arches, these have been windows. Boxed in staircase. You can see the staircase going up there. Obviously it won't go up there. There's a floor up there in the dome. Oh, maybe it's not the original floor, but there's a platform there. All the floor joists here. Fireplace there. There's another fireplace. And then this leads to the extension. Let's watch for the owl. And a few people in luck. It riles me when the graffiti everything because it just spoils all the history something there I'm wondering if that's a doorway which takes you down into the cellar been a doorway there you can see the original eight sided when we were kids we all thought this was a burial chamber for the Watts family until you get old and you find out all the truth <laughs> it'll have been lovely been in here that was a big piece of kit
this is one of the things which I can never understand people come out to enjoy the woods and look they've had a fire here aerosols look left all the rubbish burnt plastic you know right on the edge of a path they come out here to enjoy it they do that and they just stop all the enjoyment of everybody else it just never makes sense to me you know they've been the motorbikes up these tracks down there it's like an old quarry in here there's our little past tooth law lover see him up there look I might have ridden down there once upon a time not anymore It's awkward for me getting up here because my legs want to be where my panniers are. wasn't easy <laughs> I couldn't stand I couldn't stand and get my leg where I wanted to be I keep getting the sound of grinding at the front and I think I don't know if me wheel is flexing slightly and it's and it's um causing my calipers to rub on the rotor um there's something going on I, I tried to look for it the other day and find it and I just hmm I need to have a proper look when I get home. I changed my shocks a few weeks ago to wear shocks. And what a nice difference that's made. Even on something like this, it's not so jarry on your arms. It's a lot smoother and softer. You can hear that grating, can't you? It's not my wheel flexing. I thought it only did it when it was when I was turning, but it's not.
got to where got to where I wanted to get to. Someone's been then building. Clip clop. So I'm gonna put me out, find two trees to stick my hammock up. Um, <laughs> they all look close together. I need between six and eight meters. One, two, three, four, five. That's further. Now I'll go between. I'll go between these two. These are what I put around the tree before I put my hammock on. These are called tree straps and it helps to protect the tree. Carabina. Couldn't feel it in the bag, thought I'd left it. This is what it's all about.
That is beautiful. Well, I did bring some bums. We cup in the bottom and some water. And all my stuff, coffee beans, the coffee grinder in there. I was going to sit and make myself some freshly ground coffee, but <laughs> after them sandwiches, I can't be bothered. I've got some juice with me, so I think I'm going to save that for another day. What I've got is my battery power on my bike. <laughs> I've got some really long steep hills to get up um, so I'm going to turn my bike off everywhere where I can and um, just hope I make it home <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is I should have charged my battery up about how they used to come from Boynton Hall to the pepper pot with um, horses and carriages they used to come under this road up here we'll go over the bridge I've got to be careful because the house is there so there's the ditch there he used to ride his horse and cart down there. And that takes you up to the pepper pot. And there's the other ditch and that takes you down to Boynton Hall. Last time I went under it was all full of furniture. I bought my camping stove and I cooked my dinner. Let's um just want to be careful because my bike's there. where the carriages used to come to Boynton Hall and look there's the tunnel oh, there's a the sofa look <laughs> I wouldn't make my way back up because those people I could hear talking 
and I've left my bike there so it's a bit of a giveaway that there's somebody where they shouldn't be. They always used to say that this bridge here is where Queen Henrietta hid when she came to Bridlington. Not sure what year it was, but I think this bridge was built in the 17, mid 1700s because that's when Strickland built the pepper pot. Um, so whether she was around before then I'm not sure, but be where somebody having a Google. <laughs> Queen Henrietta underneath World Bri Worldgate Bridge. Actual proper name I think is Fonbrig Lane. But that's something to look at for another day. Look at you, hey? Hello. Apparently it's all in the tone of your voice. <laughs> Are you beautiful? <laughs> they must all be females because they're all taking no notice of me. I'm down to 28% in my battery. I've no power assist on. I can't believe I've made it this far. <laughs> God! It's an heavy old bike. I'm trying to save it for this climb up here. I'll let you know when I get home what I'm down to, if I remember. <laughs> First click clop. And we're parked on top of the world. Let's around to Bridlington. That's Filey and Filey Brig over there. Scarb in the distance, I can see the castle. The castle is there, there's a little square. That's the castle keep. Right, I'm nearly home now, so hope you've enjoyed this little video and coming out with me. Well, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs>